Hey guys, welcome back to another video in the series of Python interview questions for DevOps and in today's video we are going to talk about these two programs. So if you can see on my screen, today is day 4th and we are going to talk about these two programs. So the first question is find out if the number is positive, negative or zero. So we are going to take an input from the user and we are going to check whether the number is positive, negative or zero. So this is a very basic program for like beginner's purpose but the thing is if you are not in touch with programming right now, this can, this, this can be quite intimidating. Uh, this happens a lot. So if you're in touch, then it's very easy for you. All right. And the second question that we are going to uh, resolve today is sum of n natural numbers. You can see the formula is n bracket starts, n plus one bracket closes and upon, upon uh, you have to divide it by two. So that's the formula for sum of n natural numbers. So you have to calculate by this formula. So what is n over here? So n is a natural number that you have to enter from the uh, from the console. So user input has to uh, has to be taken all right so i have prepared two programs for that so uh, let us dive right into the demo part okay so here is our visual studio code so the first program is positive negative or zero so what are we are going to do we are going to take an input we are going to take float we are not going to take any int value over here you will understand why we're going to take an input using the input inbuilt method please enter the number and we are going to enter the number as soon as we take the number, we are going to we are going to catch it in num num, and we are going to call the positive negative zero function. All right, and we are going to pass a value over here. So this is the driver code from which where the program starts. So once done, it will go over here. So this is a function that we already already uh, have written over here. In the param, the value will go from here and then it will check whether the number is equal to zero so if the number is zero it is going to give the result that the number is either zero or invalid if someone is giving some invalid values In the ne next we are using elif so param greater than zero so if it is greater than zero then the number is positive very basic scenario very basic thing and else if the apart from that if the number is anything else then it would good give a negative value so let us test this program so this program is zero one hit tab enter so I'll first enter the first value 0 and it is saying the number is either 0 or invalid. Let us again test it for a positive scenario. We are giving 89 and the number is positive and let's test, a, test it for a negative scenario. So we'll give a value minus 90 and it is saying the program is negative. So all the three scenarios has been tested over. So this is very basic program. And what are we learning over here? We are learning a few things like how to take an input. We are seeing how to call a function with a parameterized thing. And then we are creating a function over here which starts from def and inside that we are using if, elif and else. It's a nested if, not nested if, if, elif and else. And then we are doing param equal to equal to zero which is we are checking the logical operators over here. Sorry, the comparative and we are com comparing here as well and then we are printing the value so we are touching three four aspects of a program so this is a very basic program if you are already in touch with python and you are coding every day this would be very much easy for you to understand so the next program we are going to talk about is sum of n natural numbers and this is very interesting program all right so there are two three ways of doing it uh, you can do it either way i'm going to explain very basic scenario and then we are going to talk about other things so the program starts from like here first of all the formula the formula is n bracket starts n plus 1 and upon 2 so this is the very basic thing that you have to develop in your logic so here is a function that does the work but we are going to what we are going to do over here is we are taking a float value inputting a float value and then please enter the number we are going to enter a number it is going to put it over here now why we are checking this because someone can give a, a, a bad value so we are checking if num is greater than 2, greater than 0. So print the sum of n natural number is here I'm calling the function. So this is my driver code over here. I'm calling the function over here. There are other ways of calling it. You can separately write it in the previous program you have seen and in the few, few other videos which I have previously shown. This is the scenario which we have done. But I'm doing something new over here. I'm making a call from here. And calling and passing the parameter num which is the one which you will give as a user as an input and then it is going over there all right else enter a valid number because anyone can enter a valid number and we do not want some kind of negative values so let us try this program and then i'm going to explain you what is happening 02 hit tab 
if i give minus 4 it is going to say enter a valid number because we need something in a positive value so that's we are going to test now let's say we have entered a positive value so it is going to call this function what is going to do pass on the number over here result is something that we have taken uh, we have declared so param into so for into we use this asterisk and then bracket starts and the same thing that we are doing over here param plus one the result will be from this the first part all right just take a pause understand what i just told this one would be this part and it's going to take the value over here as an answer and then afterwards i'm going to divide it by two which is this part okay and return the result and it is going to print it over here so let us test it all right so let's see how we do it for three the answer for 3 should be 6 and you can see the answer is 6 over here. Now what we can do is sometimes we get confused like whether my answer is correct or not. So what I will do is I will show you through some website. So this is some website in which let me enter a value 3 over here and let me calculate and let's see what the answer is. Answer is 6 perfect right. So what I am going to do now I am going to test for another value. I will do for 30 alright. So let me clear the screen and run the program again. This let me give the value 30 and the answer is 465. The answer is, is correct or not. You can calculate it through pen and paper, but let's do it over here and calculate. And you can see the answer is 465, which is perfect. And then the answer is 465. Now these three steps are taking a lot of steps. So what we can do is we can calculate everything in one step. So let us try that as well. Let's see what happens. I'll just comment this all right and I'll just uncomment this and let's test the same thing let me just clear the screen run the program again give the value 3 and you can see answer is again the same and correct which is 6 let me run it again and then you can see let me give a value 30 over here and you can see the answer is 465 which is perfectly correct so either you can do it this way you can just return the value by calculating it through in one line and you can do this way as well. This is better because it saves a lot of space because three, four lines are going over there and it, it's, it looks kind of tidy. So you can use any of these. All right. So I'm going to check in the code in the repository. You can take it from there or first of all, uh, the thing that I'm going to tell you that take five or 10 minutes to solve the program from yourself. If not, then see the solution. All right. Do not waste a lot of time because this is something that you have to develop a habit every day for 5 to 10 minutes and less than 30 minutes every day will keep you keep you in a loop of a habit in which you are writing the code every day for python all right so uh, i hope everything is clear to you guys if there is an issue feel free to comment below and we will address that so thanks guys and i'll see you in the next one